Hi, it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I am going to show you unboxing a Crashtron MM30T, a small room meeting device for Microsoft Teams. Now, this isn't a long, boring video. This is a time lapse to show you how quickly it is to set up the uh, system. So, in all in all, it's about a 20 minute video condensed down into a couple of minutes. So, let's just check it out. So, to start with, I have a keyboard, I have a monitor all set up. You can see the time is 8.51. And let's open this new box. These are all the components included. So we have all sorts of cables you ever need. Ethernet cables, you've got the camera, and this is the center of room Mercury Mini. So that's your audio device there. We also include the power of an Ethernet injector, so you can do what we call direct connect. Opening here now is the compute, so this is what we call our UC engine. And this is the compute and the content ingest, all pre-mounted on a wall plate to be mounted behind a screen, for example. And now we start cabling this up, plugging in the uh, power supply, plugging in my keyboard, and you can see that it started up now uh, booting Windows. And we plug in uh, the Ethernet, and it's actually labeled on the... PoE injector, which cables to do where, and I actually did it incorrect, as you'll see in a minute. Uh, it's really handy having this uh, portable keyboard that I use, uh, means you can carry it around anywhere. Um, or if you have a touch screen, for example, that will then, uh, you could use the screen to input and select your language choices. So then we connect up the uh, center of room device, and we also put the USB cable there for the Mercury. Now, there are some security plates on the UC engine, so I had to just remove that to plug in the uh, audio and the camera. And when it does this out-of-box experience, it will reboot several times. And as you can see now, I've just fixed the uh, POE injector to the right way around. Might help if I read the labels myself. And again, the screen I'm using here is a portable screen. It's powered by USB-C, so you can, again, use that anywhere. Have it in your, uh, in your laptop bag if you need that uh, emergency screen. So, very useful uh, device to carry around with you. Now we're just plugging in the uh, Hudley IQ camera. And then we have the uh, license agreement. So, again, using the keyboard makes it much easier to type in the username and password for the Microsoft Teams account. And then uh, it goes and reboots again. And it didn't sign in as I made a typo. Uh, so I just fixed that. And I'm also enabling the uh, interrupt for Cisco WebEx and Zoom. So guest join access. And just making sure all the microphone and speaker settings are correct. I just had to modify the default speaker to use the uh, Crestron Mercury Mini rather than the screen. There we go, I've got a meeting invite, and I simply uh, hit join once it's all signed in, and on my iPad I will start the meeting, and there we go, we are in a call. There we go. So there we have it, in under 20 minutes we have unboxed a Microsoft Teams room, bench tested it, signed it in, made a test call, super simple. Now, you will have some Windows updates to do, and you'll also have probably a Microsoft Teams room app update to do. Now, that can be done left to itself, and it will do it overnight. Every night at 2 a.m., the system goes and checks and does its reboots, but also does any updates. So you can leave it to do it itself, or you can run these scripts manually. Now, I have those on my blog at graham Learn how to do that, or officially on the Microsoft Doc site. So, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.